I'm exhausted. It's only 10 in the morning. What's been going on with me? Yeah, that's been hop happening a lot over this year. Did you sleep well? Yeah. Um, have you done a check on your mental health? Like, where's your thoughts and feelings at? What's a mental health check-in? Well, it's just like, a, you know, a self-check you do. Like, uh, before you go for a run, you know, do you, do you warm up? For, well, for a run, I guess, I mean, I mean, I stretch, but I don't really have a routine. I normally just kind of just do what I need to do to warm up. Well, exactly. You could do the same thing with your mental health. You know, here's, here's the example of my check-in. Uh, I'll ask myself three questions. Um, how, I, how I've been feeling lately, um, what thoughts have dominated my, my, my mind, and have I done anything lately that has brought me joy? Well, why do you do that? Well, my therapist suggested it for me, actually, um, when I was being treated with depre for depression. Wait, sheesh. I don't understand, too. You're the happiest person I, I've ever known. All you do is make others laugh. You have depression? I just can't even, like, how'd you know you had depression? Well, I just, I just knew that I wasn't right, you know? And I was dealing with a lot of stuff and on top of the pandemic, right? I just found myself not doing anything for a long period of time. So uh, I just didn't really care about doing a lot of things and, and I didn't really have passion about like stuff that I was doing that I had enjoyed before. So my therapist, he t uh, I told him about how I was feeling and he gave me a quick uh, depression assessment. And it turns out like I had moderate to severe depression. Wow, you said had? Does that mean you're all better now or? Well, I'm doing a lot better now. Um, my therapist helped me, gave me a lot of tools that I can use. Like I talked to my doctor about it as well, uh, just so that she can watch out for me. You told your doctor about it? Uh, weren't you scared to tell people? People might think you're crazy, you know? Yo, stop, Ben. You know that we stamped out the stigma a long time ago. Do you remember the thing about the pandemic? It's okay not to be okay, but it's not okay to stay there. Did I just hear somebody stamp out the stigma? Nami Man! Yes, my friends, it's me, Nami Man, coming to you live. But did I hear you correctly? Were you sharing your stories and stamping out the stigma of um, mental health conditions? I mean, I guess I was just checking in with Ben and he was, uh, he didn't know about a mental health check, so I just thought I'd, you know, share what I do. Um, but more importantly, uh, how have you been? Like, I haven't seen you since, like, October. Well, that is incredible. And where have I been? I have been one busy superhero this year. You know, this pandemic has brought with it so many consequences, not just for our physical health, but for our mental health as well. You know, everyone in this world is experiencing some form of grief, loss, trauma, stress. And now that we are at the year milestone of living through a global pandemic, we're having to contend with that loss as well. And it is bringing with it all different kinds of mental health issues for individuals, some experiencing them for the very first time, and everyone has mental health, but I am only one mental health superhero. So, what have you been doing about it, Nami Man? How are, you, uh, how are you able to help? Are you a therapist or something? Or are you like a super therapist? No, I'm not a therapist and no, I'm not a counselor, but I connect people to therapists and counselors every single day, all day long. And no, I'm not a doctor and I can't diagnose your mental health condition, but I am a superhero because I have lived through all of the things that I thought I wouldn't and I too live with a mental health condition. So when people need it, I can sit with them, meet them where they are, and let them know that I have been there. Yeah, like the NAMI website. There are links and resources 
all kinds of stuff there too. Like Nami has a YouTube channel with some really helpful videos. And Nami's on all the <laughs> socials. They just got a TikTok. They've been on Instagram. Yes, on yes, Twitter. we are. Um, you know, it sounds a lot like you know pretty well how to get people the help that they need. And it sounds like you are pretty good at spreading the word that help is out there. I mean, I guess. Mm hmm. Well, this job is too much for me to do alone. Do you think you'd be willing to be a superhero for mental health? Like a sidekick? Like Robin? No, not a sidekick. An actual superhero. It's okay, okay not, not to be okay, okay but it's, it's not okay, okay to stay, stay that way. We've all been superheroes navigating the ups and downs of this year. The purpose of the wall of positivity is to send a message of positivity, appreciation, or kindness that will connect us and inspire us. Your message could be many things, including some general words of motivation or inspiration or quotation or reflection, a message of thanks to a person or group of people, or a message that shows kindness or consideration. Now there are a few guidelines. Your message may be addressed to another person, but should be general and not contain personal information. Your first name and last name initial will appear on the message. Your message will be printed and posted on the board. And the purpose of this message is to make others feel good about themselves and bring us together as a community, acknowledging that we are stronger when we care about each other. As you write your message, be sure to consider how people will feel when they read this. How will your message make a difference? So thinking about some ideas for sentence starters. You could say, thank you for, I am grateful when, today I feel positive about, Someone makes me believe in myself. In tough times, I remind myself. Thank you for spreading your positivity. This is Nami Man coming to you live, and I'm with, who are you? Who Nami are you? Boy! Nami Boy, and who are you? Nami Boy. The Nami Boy. <laughs> and we are the one and only mental health superheroes. And what do we do? What's our superpower? Crush stigma. Crushing stigma. And what's the best way to crush stigma? Being kind, yes. what do you think? Yes. Being kind, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the great things that you guys are doing at Palisades, and we're so proud of you, is your kindness wall that's coming on Friday. And we are just here to say thank you for helping us to crush stigma. And what's the good way to do that again? Being kind. Being kind. kind. Thank you for being kind, Palisades. We are so proud of you. And we're so glad to be doing this with you. And there is help. Yeah. There is hope. Yeah. Right? And until there's a cure, there's NAMI. <laughs>